In chemistry, particularly in biochemistry, a fatty acid is a carboxylic acid with a long aliphatic chain, which is either saturated or unsaturated. Most naturally occurring fatty acids have an unbranched chain of an even number of carbon atoms, from 4 to 28. Fatty acids are usually not found in organisms, but instead as three main classes of esters, triglycerides, phospholipids, and cholesterol esters. In any of these forms, fatty acids are both important dietary sources of fuel for animals and they are important structural components for cells. History The concept of fatty acid acid gras was introduced by Michel Eugène Chevreul, though he used initially some variant terms, graisse acid and acide hulo, acid fat, and oily acid. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Types of fatty acids. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Length of fatty acids. Fatty acids differ by length, often categorized as short to very long. Short-chain fatty acids SCFA are fatty acids with aliphatic tails of five or fewer carbons e.g. butyric acid. Medium-chain fatty acids MCFA are fatty acids with aliphatic tails of six to twelve carbons, which can form medium-chain triglycerides. Long chain fatty acids LCFA are fatty acids with aliphatic tails of 13 to 21 carbons. Very long chain fatty acids VLCFA are fatty acids with aliphatic tails of 22 or more carbons. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Saturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids have no C equals C double bonds. They have the same formula CH3 CH2 NCOOH, with variations in N. An important saturated fatty acid is stearic acid N. Equals 16, which when neutralized with lye is the most common form of soap. <laughs> Unsaturated fatty acids Unsaturated fatty acids have one or more C equals C double bonds. The C equals C double bonds can give either cis or trans isomers. Cis A cis configuration means that the two hydrogen atoms adjacent to the double bond stick out on the same side of the chain. The rigidity of the double bond freezes its conformation and, in the case of the cis isomer, causes the chain to bend and restricts the conformational freedom of the fatty acid. The more double bonds the chain has in the cis configuration, the less flexibility it has. When a chain has many cis bonds, it becomes quite curved in its most accessible conformations. For example, oleic acid, with one double bond, has a kink in it, whereas linoleic acid, with two double bonds, has a more pronounced bend. Alpha linolenic acid, with three double bonds, favors a hooked shape. The effect of this is that, in restricted environments, such as when fatty acids are part of a phospholipid in a lipid bilayer, or triglycerides in lipid droplets, cis bonds limit the ability of fatty acids to be closely packed, and therefore can affect the melting temperature of the membrane or of the fat. Trans A trans configuration, by contrast, means that the adjacent two hydrogen atoms lie on opposite sides of the chain. As a result, they do not cause the chain to bend much, and their shape is similar to straight saturated fatty acids. In most naturally occurring unsaturated fatty acids, each double bond has three N carbon atoms after it, for some N, and all are cis bonds. Most fatty acids in the trans configuration trans fats are not found in nature and are the result of human processing, e.g., hydrogenation. The differences in geometry between the various types of unsaturated fatty acids, as well as between saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, play an important role in biological processes, and in the construction of biological structures such as cell membranes. <laughs> Nomenclature Numbering of the carbon atoms in a fatty acid 
The position of the carbon atoms in a fatty acid can be indicated from the COOH or carboxy end, or from the CH3 or methyl end. If indicated from the COOH end, then the C1, C2, C3, etc. notation is used blue numerals in the diagram on the right, where C1 is the COOH carbon. If the position is counted from the other, CH3, end then the position is indicated by the omega N notation numerals in red, where omega-1 refers to the methyl carbon. The positions of the double bonds in a fatty acid chain can, therefore, be indicated in two ways, using the CN or the omega N notation. Thus, in an 18-carbon fatty acid, a double bond between C12 or omega-7 and C13 or omega-6 is reported either as delta 12 if counted from the COOH end, indicating only the beginning of the double bond, or as omega-6 or omega-6 if counting from the CH3 end. The delta is the Greek letter delta, which translates into d for double bond in the Roman alphabet. Omega, omega is the last letter in the Greek alphabet, and is therefore used to indicate the last carbon atom in the fatty acid chain. Since the omega N notation is used almost exclusively to indicate the positions of the double bonds close to the CH3 end in essential fatty acids, there is no necessity for an equivalent delta like notation. The use of the omega N notation always refers to the position of a double bond. Fatty acids with an odd number of carbon atoms are called odd chain fatty acids, whereas the rest are even chain fatty acids. The difference is relevant to gluconeogenesis. Topic: <laughs> Naming of fatty acids. The following table describes the most common systems of naming fatty acids. Free fatty acids When circulating in the plasma, plasma fatty acids are not in their ester, fatty acids are known as non-esterified fatty acids or free fatty acids FFAs. FFAs are always bound to a transport protein, such as albumin. Production Industrial Fatty acids are usually produced industrially by the hydrolysis of triglycerides, with the removal of glycerol see oleochemicals, phospholipids represent another source. Some fatty acids are produced synthetically by hydrocarboxylation of alkenes. Template, says whom? By animals In animals, fatty acids are formed from carbohydrates predominantly in the liver, adipose tissue, and the mammary glands during lactation. Carbohydrates are converted into pyruvate by glycolysis as the first important step in the conversion of carbohydrates into fatty acids. Pyruvate is then decarboxylated to form acetyl CoA in the mitochondrion. However, this acetyl CoA needs to be transported into cytosol where the synthesis of fatty acids occurs. This cannot occur directly. To obtain cytosolic acetyl-CoA, citrate produced by the condensation of acetyl-CoA with oxaloacetate is removed from the citric acid cycle and carried across the inner mitochondrial membrane into the cytosol. There it is cleaved by ATP citrate lyase into acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate. The oxaloacetate is returned to the mitochondrion as malate. The cytosolic acetyl CoA is carboxylated by acetyl CoA carboxylase into malonyl CoA. The first committed step in the synthesis of fatty acids, malonyl CoA is then involved in a repeating series of reactions that lengthens the growing fatty acid chain by two carbons at a time. Almost all natural fatty acids, therefore, have even numbers of carbon atoms. When synthesis is complete the free fatty acids are nearly always combined with glycerol three fatty acids to one glycerol molecule to form triglycerides, the main storage form of fatty acids, and thus of energy in animals. However, fatty acids are also important components of the phospholipids that form the phospholipid bilayers out of which all the membranes of the cell are constructed the cell wall, and the membranes that enclose all the organelles within the cells, such as the nucleus, the mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, and the Golgi apparatus, the uncombined fatty acids, or free fatty acids, found in the circulation of animals come from the breakdown or lipolysis of stored triglycerides. 
Because they are insoluble in water, these fatty acids are transported bound to plasma albumin. The levels of free fatty acids in the blood are limited by the availability of albumin binding sites. They can be taken up from the blood by all cells that have mitochondria with the exception of the cells of the central nervous system. Fatty acids can only be broken down in mitochondria, by means of beta oxidation followed by further combustion in the citric acid cycle to CO2 and water. Cells in the central nervous system, which, although they possess mitochondria, cannot take free fatty acids up from the blood, as the blood-brain barrier is impervious to most free fatty acids, excluding short-chain fatty acids and medium-chain fatty acids. These cells have to manufacture their own fatty acids from carbohydrates, as described above, in order to produce and maintain the phospholipids of their cell membranes, and those of their organelles. <laughs> fatty acids in dietary fats The following table gives the fatty acid, vitamin E and cholesterol composition of some common dietary fats. Reactions of fatty acids Fatty acids exhibit reactions like other carboxylic acids, i.e. they undergo esterification and acid-base reactions. Acidity Fatty acids do not show a great variation in their acidities, as indicated by their respective pKa. Nonanoic acid, for example, has a pKa of 4.96, being only slightly weaker than acetic acid. 4.76. As the chain length increases, the solubility of the fatty acids in water decreases, so that the longer chain fatty acids have minimal effect on the pH of an aqueous solution. Even those fatty acids that are insoluble in water will dissolve in warm ethanol, and can be titrated with sodium hydroxide solution using phenolphthalein as an indicator. This analysis is used to determine the free fatty acid content of fats, i.e., the proportion of the triglycerides that have been hydrolyzed. Neutralization of fatty acids, i.e. saponification, is a widely practiced route to metallic soaps. Topic. Hydrogenation and hardening Hydrogenation of unsaturated fatty acids is widely practiced. Typical conditions involve 2.0 to 3.0 MPa of H2 pressure, 150 degrees Celsius, and nickel supported on silica as a catalyst. This treatment affords saturated fatty acids. The extent of hydrogenation is indicated by the iodine number. Hydrogenated fatty acids are less prone toward rancidification. Since the saturated fatty acids are higher melting than the unsaturated precursors, the process is called hardening. Related technology is used to convert vegetable oils into margarine. The hydrogenation of triglycerides versus fatty acids is advantageous because the carboxylic acids degrade the nickel catalysts, affording nickel soaps. During partial hydrogenation, unsaturated fatty acids can be isomerized from cis to trans configuration, more forcing hydrogenation, i.e. using higher pressures of H2 and higher temperatures, converts fatty acids into fatty alcohols. Fatty alcohols are, however, more easily produced from fatty acid esters. In the Varentrap reaction certain unsaturated fatty acids are cleaved in molten alkali, a reaction at one time of relevance to structure elucidation. Auto-oxidation and rancidity Unsaturated fatty acids undergo a chemical change known as auto-oxidation. The process requires oxygen air and is accelerated by the presence of trace metals. Vegetable oils resist this process to a small degree because they contain antioxidants, such as tocopherol. Fats and oils often are treated with chelating agents such as citric acid to remove the metal catalysts. Topic. Ozonolysis Unsaturated fatty acids are susceptible to degradation by ozone. This reaction is practiced in the production of azelaic acid CH2-7-CO2H from oleic acid. Topic. Analysis 
In chemical analysis, fatty acids are separated by gas chromatography of methyl esters. Additionally, a separation of unsaturated isomers is possible by argentation thin layer chromatography. Topic: Circulation. Topic: Digestion and intake. Short and medium chain fatty acids are absorbed directly into the blood via intestine capillaries and travel through the portal vein just as other absorbed nutrients do. However, long chain fatty acids are not directly released into the intestinal capillaries. Instead they are absorbed into the fatty walls of the intestine villi and reassembled again into triglycerides. The triglycerides are coated with cholesterol and protein, protein coat into a compound called a chylomicron. From within the cell, the chylomicron is released into a lymphatic capillary called a lacteal, which merges into larger lymphatic vessels. It is transported via the lymphatic system and the thoracic duct up to a location near the heart where the arteries and veins are larger. The thoracic duct empties the chylomicrons into the bloodstream via the left subclavian vein. At this point the chylomicrons can transport the triglycerides to tissues where they are stored or metabolized for energy. Metabolism When metabolized, fatty acids yield large quantities of ATP. Many cell types can use either glucose or fatty acids for this purpose. Fatty acids provided either by ingestion or by drawing on triglycerides stored in fatty tissues are distributed to cells to serve as a fuel for muscular contraction and general metabolism. They are broken down to CO2 and water by the intracellular mitochondria, releasing large amounts of energy, captured in the form of ATP through beta-oxidation and the citric acid cycle. <laughs> Essential fatty acids Fatty acids that are required for good health but cannot be made in sufficient quantity from other substrates, and therefore must be obtained from food, are called essential fatty acids. There are two series of essential fatty acids, one has a double bond three carbon atoms away from the methyl end, the other has a double bond six carbon atoms away from the methyl end. Humans lack the ability to introduce double bonds in fatty acids beyond carbons 9 and 10, as counted from the carboxylic acid side. Two essential fatty acids are linoleic acid LA and alpha-linolenic acid ALA. These fatty acids are widely distributed in plant oils. The human body has a limited ability to convert ALA into the longer chain omega-3 fatty acids, icosapentaenoic acid EPA and docosahexanoic acid DHA, which can also be obtained from fish. Omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids are biosynthetic precursors to endocannabinoids with antinociceptive, anxiolytic, and neurogenic properties. <laughs> <laughs> Distribution Blood fatty acids are in different forms in different stages in the blood circulation. They are taken in through the intestine in chylomicrons, but also exist in very low-density lipoproteins VLDL and low-density lipoproteins LDL after processing in the liver. In addition, when released from adipocytes, fatty acids exist in the blood as free fatty acids. It is proposed that the blend of fatty acids exuded by mammalian skin, together with lactic acid and pyruvic acid, is distinctive and enables animals with a keen sense of smell to differentiate individuals. Industrial uses Fatty acids are mainly used in the production of soap, both for cosmetic purposes and, in the case of metallic soaps, as lubricants. Fatty acids are also converted, via their methyl esters, to fatty alcohols and fatty amines, which are precursors to surfactants, detergents, and lubricants. Other applications include their use as emulsifiers, texturizing agents, wetting agents, anti foam agents, or stabilizing agents. Esters of fatty acids with simpler alcohols such as methyl, ethyl, n propyl, isopropyl, and butyl esters are used as emollients in cosmetics and other personal care products and as synthetic lubricants. 
Esters of fatty acids with more complex alcohols, such as sorbitol, ethylene glycol, diethylene glycol, and polyethylene glycol are consumed in food, or used for personal care and water treatment, or used as synthetic lubricants or fluids for metal working. <laughs> See also